Installing Saperna eyeglass for Isilon is simple. Saperna eyeglass for Isilon is supplied via either a virtual appliance, VMware and Hyper-V supported, or a simple Red Hat Enterprise Linux offline installer. Log on to www.saperna.net and download the self-contained virtual appliance. Import the appliance into your hypervisor and supply IP information. Once deployed, open a web browser and enter the URL of the name or IP of the freshly installed appliance to continue with Saperna Eyeglass for Isilon's simple configuration. You can immediately get live assistance on Saperna Eyeglass for Isilon by clicking on the integrated help feature function conveniently located on the dashboard. Immediately after install, you're able to add your first Isilon cluster with a few easy clicks. You'll already notice prior to logging in that Saperna Eyeglass has established a connection with our updates feed and is displaying informational messages. Log into the appliance, click on the Eyeglass main menu launcher, select Add Manage Device, then enter the FQDN or Smart Connect Service IP, username and password of the cluster you wish to manage, and then click Submit. Saperna Eyeglass for Isilon will connect to your cluster and automatically begin collecting configuration data from the cluster. Use the inventory view for a quick and concise view of all managed inventory. Within moments, Saperna Eyeglass for Isilon will have automatically prepared a complete cluster configuration summary that can be viewed by clicking on Cluster Reports from the Saperna Eyeglass for Isilon desktop. Click on Cluster Reports, then click on Open beside the desired cluster. An automated report will display a cluster configuration summary, cluster name, generated report date, and a table of contents with convenient hyperlinks to each section is ready for review, print, or saving. Cluster storage usage provides a real-time view of storage utilization by tier, node, and by export. Once configured via the Notification Center, Saperna Eyeglass for Isilon will automatically email out reports to delegated users on a scheduled basis. The DR dashboard provides a complete overview of policy, zone, and DFS readiness. Policy-specific readiness overviews and DR failover status summaries of policy readiness can be expanded and displayed in detail. Easily review RPO by displaying the Sync IQ jobs chart. Saperna Eyeglass for Isilon collects throughput and performance data from your Sync IQ jobs and then performs a calculation to estimate if your RPO objective will be met. The DR Dashboard Zone Readiness feature displays zone readiness in an easily navigable context. DR Dashboard provides a clear and concise view of system DR readiness and highlights areas that may need attention. Saperna Eyeglass for Isilon has a number of features to assist in simulated or actual failover events. The failover wizard located in the DR Assistant orchestrates a complete failover on demand. Select Failover Wizard, select a failover type, select the source cluster and failover options, review and confirm. Saperna Eyeglass for Isilon will orchestrate a complete failover from source to target cluster automatically. Saperna Eyeglass for Isilon has another built-in feature called the Continuous Runbook Robot. This feature continuously fails over data from source cluster to target cluster, records statistics, validates integrity, and even acts as a client to mount and test data access at the target. Once complete, Saperna Eyeglass for Isilon fails the data back. Runbook robot report data is stored and displayed in the previously reviewed DR dashboard. To enable this feature, simply create a non-production path on your production cluster and create a Eyeglass Runbook Robot Sync IQ policy. Saperna Eyeglass for Isilon does the rest. Saperna Eyeglass for Isilon simplifies quota management with the Saperna Eyeglass for Isilon quota portal. Users logging into the quota portal using their AD credentials are presented with a real-time view of current storage usage and quota enforcements applied. The user can click on a share or export and request a quota increase. Once this is completed, the storage administrator will receive an email and dashboard to which they can one-click approve or deny the request. Approved quotas are instantly applied to the cluster and ready for use by the requesting user. Simple, automated and orchestrated.